Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Tuesday, July 30th, our scripture is found in the 15th chapter of Romans, verses 22 to 33. This is the reason that I have so often been hindered from coming to you. But now, with no further place for me in these regions, I desire, as I have for many years, to come to you when I go to Spain. For I do hope to see you on my journey and, be, and to be sent on by you, once I have enjoyed your company for a little while. At present, however, I am going to Jerusalem in a ministry to the saints. For Macedonia and Achaia, and Achaia have been pleased to share their resources with the poor among the saints at Jerusalem. They were pleased to do this, and indeed they owe it to them. For if the Gentiles have come to share in their spiritual blessings, they ought also to be of service to them in material things. So when I have completed this and have delivered to them what has been collected, I will set out by way of you to Spain. And I know that when I come to you, I will come in the fullness of the blessing of Christ. I appeal, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit to join me in the earnest prayer to God on my behalf, that I may be rescued from the unbelievers in Judea, and that my ministry to Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints, so that by God's will I may come to you with joy and be re refreshed in your company. The God of peace be with all, be with all of you. Amen. With or without you, I appeal to you by our earnest Jesus Christ to join me in the earnest prayer. Verse 30. With. It's short, but it can make all the difference. Think about asking someone out. Do you want to go with me? Or a person struggling to lift a heavy load? Can you lend a hand with this? So much hangs on this little preposition. In the closing of his letter to believers in Rome, G Paul uses two Greek words only found here. Join me in prayer, verse 30, and I, I may be refreshed with, verse 32. He implores a diverse community struggling through distinctions to collectively strive with him in prayer. He hopes that after praying together, all might be re-energized and rejuvenated for the future in each other's company. These words capture the mutuality and intimacy of being believers in the body of Christ. Together we strive side by side in worship, prayer, and service. Together we discover deep joy and are revitalized and reinvigorated as we support, celebrate, and gently challenge each other. The key is that we can't do without Christ or each other. Our prayer, Triune God, when life and relationship and community are difficult, pray in and through us. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.